Okay, Abe, this uh, video is about the waterline heater. What this device does is it keeps your water line going out to the well from freezing. You know, most areas you wouldn't need this water line heater because you're, you would just dig a ditch below the frost level, three feet or deeper, and you would put your water line to your uh, well uh, pump and uh, you know, it would never freeze because it's below frost level, but you are living on a mountain of solid granite. Almost every bit of this mountain, you can only go down a few feet, maybe two, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's solid granite. So we have to somehow prevent that water line from freezing, and that's exactly what the water line heater does. Um, you can see that I've got yet another label on this tag, and basically it just says, hey, water line heater, leave on during October 1st through April 31st. And plug it in right up here in that GFI, and, uh, you know, once it's plugged in, it does its own thing. There's no on-off switch, and, you know, it, it's like 35 feet long. It goes all the way out to the uh, wellhead right before it uh, gets to it, and that keeps it warm. Now, I did find out the hard way that, uh, you know, I, I had this sensor down here. Look inside this tube I got here. There's a sensor, and uh, you know, they tell you, oh yeah, just attach your sensor to a pipe, and you know, and wire tie it, you know, wire tie it to a pipe, and once the pipe gets cold enough, it will turn on the water line heater. Well, guess what? You know, I have heat in my basement, and because I had heat in my basement, um, the water line heater wasn't going on, even though I had it attached to the pipe. And I found that out because I went to turn on the, you know, water, and there was no water rushing into the system. And as soon as I took this sensor and I put it in a can of cold water, it immediately turned on, and about three minutes later, the water line... Uh, de-thawed. It didn't break the pipe or anything. It's plastic pipe out there, but I was lucky. And uh, so I learned a lesson that, hey, I can't leave this attached to the pipe. I need to come up with a better solution. So what I did was I took flexible heat duct and I ran it. You know, let me get a flashlight here. I ran it up to that vent that goes outside. Okay, and this is all insulated. And then what I did was I took I took the sensor and I put it in the tube. After I put it in the tube, I took a little piece of foam here and pushed it in around it. Now, of course, I can't do it because I'm on video, but basically just tuck that in, okay, and then I, I wrapped the plastic around it, you know, you could even put a little piece of tape around it or a wire tie, whatever, you know, just so it doesn't unravel. So now I've got insulated air coming from the outside. So when it gets cold enough outside, that air travels down that tube, gets to the sensor, and it works perfectly. So if you get some plumber guy in here, from BJ Queen saying, oh no, that's all set up wrong. You need that on the pipe. Say, no, no, it isn't. You know, so leave it right where it is, Mr. BJ Queen repairman. By the way, if uh, you have any plumbing problems, you're going to need that number in your contact because they're the only game in town. But uh, so that is the way the, uh, the heater is set up. And it works very well. In the wintertime, you'll actually see where the snow is. Uh, melted a little bit at, right out to the well because that thing, I don't know how hot it gets. I, I imagine it probably gets about 45 or 50 degrees, but uh, that is the water line heater. And then obviously there's no reason to leave it plugged in uh, during the summer. It wouldn't, it wouldn't turn on because the uh, sensor wouldn't be cold enough, but uh, I unplug it because I just, you know, that's the way I am. So Anyways, just follow those instructions. Don't worry about plugging it in until October 1st and unplug it April 31st and you are good to go. That's it for the waterline heater.